Hey everybody, it's Doug here, Doug Mystic Guy on Board Game Geek. Um, well, you know, I had to do it. So, I was waiting, I wanted to do a playthrough of a certain game. I had got it early on and I didn't do it first because I was in the middle of my zombie side playthrough and also previewing a whole bunch of other games and doing some other stuff and getting our Kickstarter for Fall of Man running, which is doing pretty good by the way. We're at 27% uh, funded and uh, we, we still have 28 days left in our Kickstarter. Good stuff. Anyway, um, but I was going to play this game anyway, just do a, a solo session, and I said, well, I might as well just do a playthrough, just to ride along the coattails of all the other great uh, playthrough guys that have been doing these before me. Um, so, uh, I decided to do, by the way, that's my game closet back there, but that's just like, it's not like I'm lacking anything to play. But, now, what can I say? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Uh, Elder Chore. Now, what I did do was I watched what other people were running and I decided to do something different. So, on that note, our old one is going to be a little different. Yeah, big baddie, Yog so thought. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun. I, I haven't played against him before yet. I've just done Cthulhu, actually all the other three that, are, that come in the game. Um, and uh, uh, beat, we actually beat in a marathon session, which I might preview some of that session in here just, just for the, I was about to say something bad, uh, S and giggles, but just for the, for the fun of it, preview that here. Should be pretty cool. Um, because we did play a marathon session, it was roughly seven and a half hours against Shub Niggeroth, and we beat the game, but man, it was so close. Uh, we had a, an event that was killing us. Um, all kinds of terrible stuff happening. Anyway, back to the, what we're going to do. So, I want to start a playthrough of this awesome game, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, let's get ready and have some fun. Alright, everybody. So, here we are. Uh, good old game of Eldritch Horror. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a great game. You know, everybody's enjoying it. Now, here's the thing. I've got all the board almost set up. I'm not going to do instructions. There's so much out there for that right now. Heck, um, um, I think even Fantasy Flight has a good one, but I can tell you something, and I'm going to point this out, and I hope that Fantasy Flight continues this. This reference guide is a lifesaver. This is not the most complex game I've ever played from Fantasy Flight games, but it is one of the, uh, it is certainly complex. It's not as complex as Arkham Horror. Well, I don't know. I guess it's about the same. It's just this one's more globetrotting as opposed to, uh, um, you know, being in a city. Uh, so, anyway, let's get started. Uh, just talk, I'm, I am going to overview our, our goals here. So, like all, uh, like every scenario, we have to uh, defeat the old one, who I have here on the board for you. It's right here. Yog Sothoth, right there, ready to go. Uh, I just have him on the board so you can see what he's doing. Uh, I've already built his Mythos deck. And again, I'm not going over the rules, so if you don't know what that means, uh, you can look at the rules online, you can watch another video. Uh, but I've built his deck. It's right there in the middle of the table. I've picked my characters. I'll go, I will go over those real quick. And uh, I've got almost everything all set up. i just got to get people starting equipment, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. They're in their starting places. Now, in this video, I'm just going to get us launched, and uh, maybe I'll do uh, just a one-round or quick round overview. I don't know. Anyway, here's our... Get this to zone in there. See if you can read that. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. So this is our first uh, mystery that we have to solve. The spawn of Yogg-Sothoth. Um, yeah, Lavina Watley has given birth in, to something horrible and now the creature calls for its father. Dum 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 dum. So what does that mean for us? Well, when this card entered play, it spawned the Dunwich Horror epic monster in Arkham. So to complete this this mystery, we have to kill the Dunwich Horror. So, the Dunwich Horror is already on the board. Right here. So, this is him. He's a big ugly thing. He's also pretty tough. The uh, thing is, is in, in this, uh, his toughness is equal to the Investigator plus two. So I'm going to have three in this. So his toughness is 5. That means in this spot right here would be a 5. 
sometimes, the, you know, most of these epic monsters, or a lot of them have that. But he's going to do a lot of damage, and we roll less dice. And he does have a, a, an effect when the comet is rolled. So, and he is up here in Arkham. So, um, now, our characters. We're going to have um, Leo Anderson. He starts off in the Deep South. He's a, uh, an adventurer, expedition leader. And for his special ability, he can test his influence. If, uh, if it passed, you gain an ally asset of your choice. You can take that as an action from the reserve or the discard pile. So that's pretty cool. Now, I, don't, I haven't populated the reserve yet. Anyway, he does start with 6 health and 6 uh, sanity. And his stats uh, are, are, again, more kind of more oriented toward fighting. Uh, Lore is 2, influence 2, observation 3. That's pretty good. His strength is 3 and his will is 3. And that's, that's good for fighting because you always have to do a will test for a horror check against monsters. And strength is for, for hand -to -hand, or combat against monsters. So... Got another combat-oriented character. I do them at random, so I hope we didn't didn't screw myself there. But this is Lily Chen. She's going to start in Shanghai. She's a martial artist. Her action is she gets to spend any number of health or sanity to recover an equal number of health or sanity. Uh, so she can shift her stats around to, to heal up. Um, and when I improve a skill, or when she improves a skill, it immediately improves that skill again. So if she gets a plus one, let's say, to her influence, it automatically gets a plus two. She's got a six and six also on sanity and health. And she's got a four three on her strength and will, so she's our primary fighter. And then for our last character, and this one I've never even played before, I don't think in any of the games, maybe, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Jim Culver, the musician. Uh, for each investigator on your space, they can recover one sanity because he plays them some lovely music. And uh, investigators on on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests during combat encounters so he can help aid with combat now what's cool about him he's better at lore here lore and influence than the other two are so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take kick that out that's pretty effective I think we'll have the starting turn we'll just go in order with Bill Leo Anderson first as a start player um, got everything all set up over here clue tokens all the various tokens in the game. I got my camera set to pan around the board so we can pan easily. I do have to populate the items deck and blah blah blah. All my location cards you can see are over on that side and then I have a, uh, you'll get a kick out of this, my big giant original edition Quarriers tin in my, my monster box. Um, yeah, I, I got Quarriers in, a, in its own thing now because it came with a couple of expansions that held all the dice so I don't use that anymore except for uh, as a cool decoration, I guess. Uh, you can also see up here our gate tokens, and I haven't spawned any of the initial starting stuff yet. I'm going to do that to wrap up my setup. Uh, and before I actually get deep into gameplay, I am going to finish my um, playthrough of Zombie Side, which I'm probably on my last turn on that, so really close. But this is going to be our setup here now. Um, I don't, you can't see the Doom Track. Hey, you can. It's just a little small, I guess. Up there, uh, Yogg Sothoth starts with the Doom Track on 14. Um, and, uh, yeah, so with three players, and also I have the card that shows right here on the board, just right here at the bottom. I might have to adjust sometimes to, to get down there and take a look at uh, uh, some of the other areas. But, yeah, so that's about as far back as it goes. So Sydney's down the bottom corner. I'm missing Sydney. I also have to place the Expedition token. I haven't done yet either, but there's our, our our start our card. Since we have three players, when we spawn a gate, we're going to spawn one. When we spawn clues, we're going to spawn two. When we spawn monsters, we're going to spawn two monsters. So that's really it. Uh, the exp I did shuffle the expedition deck, so I can't place the expedition. It is going in Tanguska. So that's where the expedition starts. Now, what, what's cool about the expedition, if you don't know, it gets your artifacts. I, I haven't seen people run in or go on the expeditions a lot in some of the playthroughs, I guess. They do hit them eventually. Uh, it should be more memorable, I guess. Memorable, I guess. But, uh, again, I'm not going to do any further instruction. So, when next I, I shoot this video, it's just going to be starting with turn one. So, see you then.